welcome back to my channel. Hey, hey, hey. So no, let me stop. Oh, stop. That's, that's too much. That's too extra. We're not gonna go there. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra. If you're new, what's the fuck up? Oh wait, I shouldn't curse. That's Curse. My name is Sierra. If you're new, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Let's get it popping. Come join this fam. Um, yeah, yeah. If you don't know what this channel is, this channel is for makeup. I don't think I really specify that anywhere except for maybe like my titles, because like my name is just like my name, you know. I'm average as fuck. But that's fine. I can be average. It's it's cool. It's whatever. But yeah. Today I'm gonna be doing a really quick like get ready with me kind of thing because I haven't been on YouTube in a minute. I had a little situation, okay you guys, and I want to get into that, but let's start doing the makeup and we can talk and we can get back to where we were at. Again, if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to my channel. You'll, you won't regret it. Um, like this video, give it a thumbs up. Tell me what you think down in the comments. Um, and yeah, let's get into this video. How have you been, babies? My little babies, my little sexy babies. Oh, so lovely. Just kidding. So, I already moisturized my face today with some Clinique, some uh, Estee Lauder, some, uh, some stuff. I'm gonna go in with my Lancome. La Boss Pro Primer. It is a smoothing makeup effect primer. I have been recently like in love, like in love with this primer. I'm so for it. Um, I don't really know how much it is. My great aunt bought it for my grandmother and my grandmother doesn't do her makeup. So it was kind of just like, you try to give that to me. Can I, can I have that? So yeah, she gave it to me. So again, I don't know how much it is, um, nor does she, but I will link something down below for you guys to get to it um if you're interested in trying it out it is lancome so it's probably really expensive but you know it's a good primer and it does help smooth out the fine lines and any blur it like helps blur out my pimples any redness that i have so i really do enjoy this primer and i do recommend it even though it's probably expensive i know but try it bitch try it you don't regret it kind of just been like my everyday routine for like I want to say the past couple of months that I haven't been on and we will get into the why I haven't been on but I'm gonna go in with my Baybelline Dream BB Fresh this is kind of just a really like lightweight um not very full coverage it's a medium sheer tint coverage um I'm the shade 120 if you're curious basically I've just been doing a quick routine lately because it takes me an hour to ride my bike to get to work in the morning and I'm just going in with a random brush it takes me an hour to get to work in the morning on my bike and I don't have time to go all extravagant anymore so I've gotten into a very basic very um repetitive routine and this is pretty much it um so I just wanted to really give you guys like a foundation routine update on what I've been doing something quick something easy because I am getting ready for work right now as well it's about 2.30 almost three-ish and I have to leave at three to get to my other job not my makeup job but my restaurant job on time at four so um look I, I put so much on my hand I'm gonna show you guys how much I put and it only covered half of my face like it takes a lot to get the full coverage um look but again we're not going for super full coverage if you want to do something that's full coverage do not buy this product because you will go in with it and you go all the fuck over the place with it you will run out of it super fast and if that's not for you then it's not for you but i usually mix it with like some estee lauder foundations and stuff because we were allowed to take home samples i don't work for estee lauder just putting that out there that's just one of the counters that's in the store that i work in um i actually work for smashbox and origins and yeah that's where I'm at in my life right now. Working for Smashbox and Origins it is my first like actual job in the makeup industry, and I really have been loving it. I don't think that um, it was gonna change or reflect on my love of makeup at all because now it's actually like work for me. 
but I don't really see it that way. Like it's just some place to go for a couple of hours a day, have fun, just be focused on something and just have the, get the experience of it. And I really do enjoy it. Um, you know, there's the days where I'm having a bad day, but it is what it is. And we get over it the next day. So I really do enjoy working for Smashbox in the store that I work at. So basically the reason why, so basically the reason why I haven't been on YouTube, like I promised, um, I was living with my grandparents when I decided to go back into the YouTube community and things like that and try again. Um, because it's something, YouTube is something that I've become super passionate about. It's something that I really do want to grow in and become better at, but I, um, I had access to a computer, to an editing tool, and to my camera and all that stuff at my grandparents' house and Wi-Fi and things like that. But when I moved in, and it was only, we were only staying there for a month. Um, it was kind of like an in-between period. We had some stuff going on with our with our other roommates. We all just kind of wanted to go our separate ways, which ended up happening. And that's cool or whatever because we kind of are, I feel like, are getting back on a pace of maybe being friends again. And that's that's cool. But it was just, we shouldn't have, like, it just, we just couldn't live together anymore. And that's fine. The rent was too expensive anyways. The place we're living at right now, we're talk about it. But we moved, Adam and I ended up moving into our own condo. And now we are renting from a travel nurse. She's a sweetheart. Um, yeah, and we love life right now. But we are looking to move, like, to California or to Florida, something like that. Um, we're just trying to get out of Delaware. It's just not, it's just not working. Like Delaware is not twerking with what I need it to be twerking with. And that's cool too, you know, I don't, it is what it is. But that's not going to be for a while. We don't really know exactly when we're going to make that move. But anyways, now we are in a place where I can film. I have a new phone now, so I don't I don't have a laptop or anything I can film with, like edit on my camera with. So all the footage that's on my camera is just lost now because I can't edit it um, unless I go and get a computer. And I decided to just get a phone first because I can do everything on my phone even when I'm not at home. Um, so yeah, I just decided to go with the iPhone route again. You know, and it has a really decent camera, I feel like. And one day I'm going to upgrade. But for right now, we're going to go with the iPhone camera. And we're going to live for it because, yeah, we're just going to have to live for it. Okay. Yeah, there's my foundation. Um, Next, I've been loving, loving, loving the NYX concealer. And the mixture between the NYX concealer and my Maybelline concealer. Um, one's an illuminating corrector. It's in the shade Claire. It's my lightest shade of concealer. It looks like this. She's just like a little tube crayon type thing. And I like to put this like literally so close to the inner corner of my eye and right up tight lining my waterline, like my lash line, because that's where I need it to be the brightest at. And I just feel like this really brings to the high points of the face where I need it to. And you guys are probably like, damn, like, she's going to fuck in. Like, this is not no average ash five-minute, like, makeup tutorial, like, quick do it. You know, like, damn, this shit whited me out. And next, I'm using my NYX one. She's, like, a duo. So it has the highlight side, which is a concealer, and then it has the contour side, which is a darker concealer for contour. And this has a very yellowy like effect, which yellows tend to brighten up the under eye a little bit for me. Um, personally, that's just how my skin works. But yeah, I like a very whited out like under eye. I've just like been in for it lately, um, especially like with how like how early I have to get up in the morning and how quick I have to get ready. I'm so exhausted, and then it literally just. I'm so tired that like the bags underneath my eyes are just so bad that I need that extra cake face underneath. So that's why I've been truly going in with a like, lighter foundation, something that's not going to make all the concealer cake up as much because the concealer is really helping me look more awake and more here and more alive and not like a fucking zombie. Except now I kind of look like a fucking mummy because like I'm white as hell. <laughs> And 
and I am blending out my under eye concealer with the same brush I use for my foundation. Um, I do have a couple of beauty blenders, and I know that this brush may look like it's being a little too harsh around my eyes, but my beauty blenders just aren't shaped, like, they aren't shaped the way that I need them to be for my under eye area. I need to actually go buy another beauty blender. Um, but this is just what has been working for me lately. I love the finish of this brush uh, with the concealer under eye area. Um, I just feel like it, it is so dense that it really does like form with my under eye. It's made literally just like, it's supposed to be just a really dense foundation brush round, but like it bends and it forms with my under eye better than any other brush or beauty blender I've ever used because I have used beauty blenders that have the point to get underneath your eye. Um, but I just feel like this has been what works the best for me. Again, it just, this is what works for me. Next, I'm gonna be setting that. I'm gonna set it with my air spun, but if you just ask, I'm gonna contour real quick and then we're gonna set that under eye. We're gonna do like a little three right here is what I like to do. I kind of like line up where the crease of my eye is and bring it just a little bit below the brow and do a, a three. And I do the same thing to the other side and then I'll like, you guys see. You guys are see, but I like to blend this out quickly because I have had issues in the past with the NYX concealer that is um, a darker shade for me to, to contour with to be like too, um, drying so that's why I'm trying this one out this this sculpting one is definitely a more hydrated formula than the NYX HD studio photogenic one and I really do like this one and yeah but I haven't had any issues with it being too drying I was just I'm always just nervous of that I don't want it to like dry down and then my makeup be fucked up especially if I'm in a rush so then I take like four little dots like that and I blend those out and I'm just blending in like circular motions. I've like been looking in the camera the whole time when I have a mirror right over here. So just don't mind me, you know, just looking over at the mirror. And I do the same thing to the other side. The three is not as pretty. And we can just do the dots all at once this time. I also do use this to contour my nose, my under lip, and all that good stuff. So you guys will see that as well. So now I'm going to contour my nose and my under lip. And I just, with the, I just follow the already dark crease and just kind of fill it in. And then with my nose, go straight down. I don't really contour my nose to make it any skinnier, but I do contour it to just define it more because my nose like bridge is not very defined. Um, and then I just take the highlight portion and just go around it so that it doesn't get too muddy looking or anything like that. And I like to blend up into my brow because that also intensifies your brow bone, which is really nice when you go back to highlight. Now it is time to set the under eye. First, I want to re-blend out any creasing because obviously it's not set, it's gonna crease. Most concealers do. And then I'm gonna take another brush. It's from the same collection as this one. I got these brushes at Forever 21. They have no numbers on them. They didn't have a name. So I'm sorry, you guys. I, I really do like love these brushes and I want to be able to recommend them to you. But I don't even know if Forever 21 still sells them. You could go in there and check it out. Pause this video, take a screenshot, and like show them like, hey, this girl's using these brushes. Do you carry them? Um, they might, but again, I don't know. And I don't really go in there anymore because I don't work for the company anymore. But like once a month to pay my bills and stuff, shop a little bit, but I hardly ever go in there anymore. 
And I'm just using my Airspun RCM, or RCM, what the fuck? I'm just using my Airspun Loose Setting Powder, the Cody Airspun. And I'm using like a very weirdly angled foundation brush that I've always used for powder because I don't know what the fuck else it's for. And this has like the perfect like shape, like it's pointed and triangular and then flat on this side. And like it's just so good to carve out the contour and to set the under eye. One of my staple brushes and I honestly could not live without it. Like look at that. Perfectly up the side of the nose. Perfectly. Let's watch it again. Yes, baby. A little bit. And I don't like to mattify the forehead too much because I, I have really good skin, I feel like, and it has that nice glow to it naturally without any foundation. So I don't like to hide that glow too much, if you know what I mean. I just love the inner glow, okay? I can't fucking live without it, okay? Just accept that. <laughs> God. I was using this painting brush to contour and it's it is pretty like dense as far as getting where I needed to go but it's super rough um around the edges a little bit so I'm gonna try and use this today because I haven't used it in a while lately I've been using um this brush right here lately I've been using this brush right here it's very fanned out and like feathery um and I just feel like it really does like do a better job than this one they're pretty much the same shape but this one does frill out a little bit more, kind of for buffing and blending, more so than getting really precise and defined. But we're gonna do it anyways and see where it goes. I'm using my Physician's Formula Light Bronze Pearl Bronzer. And I'm just set lightly, I'm actually like doing this so super light. I'm lightly setting my cream contour. That does not move or quake or shake or crack. Because we don't want that. <laughs> I rhymed. Like, look how glowy my cheek is right in, like, the apples. Like, I live for my natural glow. And just dip in. I'm kind of really get tight in there. You guys, I have like fucking 15 minutes to get ready. And 15 minutes is how long it takes for me to do my eyebrows. So this is going to be killer. So now that we are done doing all that to the face, we're going to spray her with some dewy setting spray by NYX. Um, yes, I have a lot of NYX products. But I actually like this brand. Like a lot of people do hate on the brand NYX, but I don't know. I just love the brand. I think that the stuff that I've tried really does work for me personally. And I feel like a lot of other people out there are just too bougie to really like appreciate it. Um, they're too used to their like $300, $400 primers and things like that. And they don't really appreciate the makeup that they were able to buy and afford when they first started. And I honestly think that NYX is still a really, really good brand that is on the market right now and people just shade it so much. So just they have to sweep it right underneath the rug like, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna highlight, now that that dewy setting spray is dried down, I'm gonna take my Mary Illuminizer by The Balm Cosmetics and I'm also gonna be taking my NYX highlighter that is in my London 2.0 palette, which is, she's right here. So we've got this highlighter right here, and we've got this highlighter right here. This one has more gold undertones to it, and this one's more like a champagne-y color. Um, yeah, we're going to swash both of them so you can see the difference, and then we're going to put them on. But the one by the balm is definitely more, um, less in, like really subtle, whereas the one by NYX is super intense. It had a really creamy feel when applying, but not so much when picking up, which is strange. Like, I've never had that happen before. Like, that's... I don't think I've ever actually swatched these shades. Like, I was just like, oh, bitch, this is pretty. Woo! Like, going for it. Like, I just love, like, just brush application over swatches because I feel like it's going to tell you 
exactly and show you exactly how it's gonna look, feel, and all of that. I'm taking another Forever 21 brush, if I can find her. She is just like any old brush that looks like this. Like I think it's a Morphe like Y something that looks like this. Um, it literally performs exactly the same. Like I don't see a difference in between the two. But again, I don't have the brush, so who am I to judge? Um, I'm dipping into the NYX one first. I also am going to put on a little bit of this blush that's in here. This is a really pretty peachy coral blush and I'm obsessed with it. Woo, baby. I love highlighter. You don't understand. I could literally sit here all day and apply this. I might not even put on blush. Not even put on blush. This is a, two brush tips. And you get that much pigmentation. Like you saw the pigmentation with just one brush dip. Two, baby. Average, basic, boring. <sighs> Honey, look at that. Mm. Stunning. Stun. I had I came up with so many that was like average, basic, boring, and then I can't even come up with shit for this. Like stunning, glorious queen. Hey, oh, there we go. I'm gonna just do the same to the other side. That is one brush step, baby. You fucking see that? That's why y'all shouldn't sleep on NYX Cosmetics. You know how much brush this palette was? Oh, it was like $6, I think. And you pay usually $6.99 for just one of their lipsticks that is equivalent to the price of this thing. I think I got it on clearance, so to be honest. So you're paying $7 for the lipstick that comes in here. But I pay $7 for this whole thing. You get four eyeshadows, a highlighter, the lipstick, and a blush. It's killing. It's fucking killing. Next is killing. It's like a little fucking mirror in it, too. Like, this... This is not boring, like it's not completely boring packaging, like it's actually really cute. And it, it, you get your money's worth, like you're not just spending $7 on one little ass, basic ass lipstick and you get all this other extra stuff. I love it. And just top off. This one has more of an icy, frosty shade to it, more um, champagne-y, or I'm sorry. This one's like the more gold white. It's very um, mirror-like. It definitely is super pigmented and I love how it looks on top of this shad shadow shade, this highlighter. Like I love this highlighter on top of the other because I just think it is so stunning. And I like to put just a little bit swipe them down on the apples on my cheeks so that when I like turn my cheeks look horny. <laughs> another forever 21 brush and I'm gonna go with in with the blush that is in this London palette and she looks like that super super pigmented just gonna give it a little tap tap see up and we're just gonna slightly dab this onto my apples my cheeks just putting a little bit of life and color back to the face that's fine just take away my hairline it's okay no, really, it's, it's okay. You guys, I never realized how many issues I had until I started talking to myself in a camera. <laughs> no, but all, all seriously, though, I love YouTube and I love filming and I just have such a good time when I do it. It's just a moment for me to kind of really just let go and be me and not have to really worry about any other things in the world because all I'm doing at the moment when I'm in the moment is caring about you guys and YouTube and just like the video itself like I'm not worried about other things in my life when I'm filming and I just love that moment to really just be able to sit down and just relax and just have fun like YouTube is so fun like I don't think a lot of people realize it's it's really fun but it's also very hard work put into it and I like hard work and I like having fun and it's just a perfect combination of the two. You know what, I don't even think it's really that hard, like it's just, I, I guess I've been doing it for about two years like on and off and I get the concept and I watch so many videos on how to better it that I just have this little situation down packed, it's just a matter of being coming consistent 
and I'm I really am trying to become consistent I'm hoping that me having this phone now is really going to upgrade and step that consistency up and I'm gonna be popping here's going on the fucking YouTube remember me I'm going into my Jaclyn Hiller Morphe palette I love this palette so much you guys will see that in a second she is used and abused just gonna cover up this little guy that's over here like literally I need to fucking clean her she's bad that thing that I just covered up is a logo that I'm trying to come up with for um, my brand. I, I do want to have a makeup brand in the future and I've just been like coming up with some ideas as far as what I want my logo to look like. So I don't want that out on the internet for the simple fact that I haven't copyrighted or anything like that yet. I don't need somebody stealing my logo. Okay. I'm taking a cheap Joe's angled shader brush. It's a synthetic brush and it's a quarter inch thick. This is a painting brush, you guys, and I honestly haven't used a better brush to shape my brows with in a really long time. I just like to start very lightly in the center of the brow, working my way over, just underlining it first in the shape that I want it. And honestly, I really just follow the shape of my brows. They do end up being a lot thicker, bigger than what they really are, and that's cool because that's what I like. Um, and yeah, I'm so used to seeing myself with like big brows, big bulky brows, that it's really hard for me to do anything thinner. Um, even when I just have like my regular fucking eyebrows on and don't do anything to them. I might honestly call somebody to come give me a ride to work. I just don't feel like riding my bike. And if you guys want me to go like more into depth with brows, um, I can, but just not right now. So I'm going to go finish the other brow off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, now that that is all done, I just really wanted to quickly, briefly go over with you what colors I use for my brows from Jaclyn's palette. Because a lot of people ask me this on a daily, like, what do you use to do your brows? Like, they always look so good. And honestly, I've just gotten into such a big routine of doing my brows every single day, even if I'm not going to wear makeup, that it just, my brows... Never will ever, ever, ever be sister. I mean, twins. They'll always just be sisters or maybe like distant cousins because I have my days. We, we all do. So I like to use, I believe the shade is called Hunts. Um, so I use her and then I use, or no, I'm sorry. Hunts. Yeah, I use Hunts and I use, I think it's called Mocha, but I could be really wrong. So it's this shade in the palette, which is right next to this shade. And then um, it's also the shade right here. So I use this one and I use this one from the palette. And yeah, that like kind of really does create the perfect like undertones of reds that match my hair and the perfect undertone of brown to make it more natural. And I just have been loving that lately so if I change it up anytime soon you guys will know because I'll tell you usually I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills definer brow definer but lately I just haven't been because I have it in blonde I don't have it in auburn yet because I usually use the auburn one when my hair is red I'm going to be using the brow drama by Maybelline it's the gel sculpting brow mascara in the shade blonde this is I like to go in with like a lighter one after I've done all those dark colors because it's just there to sculpt them up into place where I want them to stay for the rest of the day. But it doesn't really add much color to it. And it kind of, if anything, just gives the brows some light fibers to really look more full than what they are. Than what they actually are. I'm going to just step back in one more time. I'm like on the mile mark. Like I need to leave my house. I'm going to be late for work, but I'm not even close to being done. Well, I'm kind of close to being done. So next up to getting this very sculpted, but like natural highlighted glowy dewy look beam and in light from Jacqueline's palette and mix the two shades together. And I'm going to like get that like really close to my inner corner and under eye area like tight line my lash line with it 
which I know probably seems like a super strange technique, but I'm just trying to help white out my under eye a little bit more and make it appear just slightly more awake. I'm really gonna pack that into the inner corner. And then I'm gonna take some Mary Luminizer and I'm gonna go on my brow bone with her because my brows do not need to be carved out. Um, usually for me, after using that brush, I really don't need to carve them out much. So I won't be doing that today. Besides, that'll help give it more of a natural appeal to it instead of like, oh, this bitch is like fucking Barbie. Which, we love Barbie. I, I live for Barbie moments. But we're going for a very subtle look because we're not going to my makeup job. We're going to my restaurant job. Remember that. <laughs> And this has honestly been like a very easy, quick look for me to do, even when I am going to Smashbox um, to work. I just feel like this is something that's quick, super subtle, very glam still, and I just love it. I'm going to go in with my Essence Makeup Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. And she looks like this. And she slowly has curved over time, but I think that's just benefited me, to be honest. And I'm just going to... Go over the top of my my uh, lashes first and then tight line. Like squiggle her in there really tight. If you do your mascara like this, like me, then you know exactly what I'm talking about when I say squiggle in there tight. Like I don't know really how to um, describe that any other way. You just really have to get the brush close as possible to the um, start of your lash. This is how you'll get the full false lash effect as far as making your lashes appear longer if you don't feel like putting on lashes. That's me every day. I hate applying lashes. They're just not my thing. But I think they look absolutely stunning when applied right. And I just can't do it for my wife. And with my L'Oreal Color Rich More Chocolate Lip Liner. And she looks like this. Just a very red, chocolatey um, lip liner. I like to try and like fill in my lips just a little bit, but not really. Not like perfectly. And then do that. Come. I'm gonna take just a little bit of Revlon's um, Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in the shade Flirtation and just dap her on here. We're mixing a few colors today to get the color I'm looking for. Taking a little bit of Monte Carlo by NYX. And lastly, the color that we want, of course I can't find her. I'm going to be going in with French Made by NYX. It is their NYX long Lip Lingerie. And I'm just going to be going all over top of the colors I already used for this guy. And I'm just going to give that a second to dry down. We did put a couple different kinds of lipstick formulas on there. So it's going to probably counteract how quick the next one does dry down. Um, but it's fine. Some more NYX Dewy Setting Spray. And we're good to go. I just wanted to point out there though real quick. My favorite, current favorite pair of lashes are the Ardell. 814 lashes they look just like this it is a new style of lashes they're the faux mink ones um and i am obsessed with these lashes lately i just love how like this how spaced out they are and just how fluttery and like cute and sexy they are um they kind of do like a butterfly effect and they come out really cat eye like on the edges and i just love that 
Um, so yeah, there, these are some definitely good lashes that I would recommend to anyone who is interested in that butterfly winged out va -voom lash, if you will. So yeah, those are some of my favorite lashes, but right now I just don't have time to put those on and I don't feel like fucking with them either. So yeah, this is the look and I hope you guys like it, how it turned out. Very glowy, very dewy um, finish and that's what I'm all about. I love a good glowy, dewy finish. Wow, that lip dried down still super quick. It is a matte dry down lip and I just love this color so much. I know I mixed a couple of really strange colors, but it's cool because the color that I want is still there. Um, and that, this is actually really similar to this, to this color naturally, but it's just, it has a little bit more of a rosy pinky undertone now that I added all of those other shades as well. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like, a thumbs up, you know what I'm saying. And comment some lip emojis, some little sparkly emojis, which I'll have right here so you guys know exactly which ones I'm talking about. Because I would love, 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 love the love to be shown. Um, love, 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 love to have the love be shown on my channel. Because I just want to show you guys so much love back. And yeah, so let's, let's, uh... Let me get out of here because I am going to be late for work. But yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you for continuously watching even though I am not consistent at all. No matter how much I try to be. Like I just am not. And I think I just have to accept that <laughs> and just try harder. But uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on this video with the little emojis I told you about. And I will see you guys in the next one. I love you guys so much. Sorry I'm so over the place again. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Love you guys. Bye. I'm really... I hate curling my lashes. Ow! I hate this. This is why I don't do this. You guys, this is my bag. I love it so much. I'm so obsessed with it. You obsessed with it too, and you know it. It's like, no, that was that was too much. That was that was too much hood in here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but no, seriously, like, I'm so obsessed with this bag. Let me know if you wanna. What's in my bag challenge? What's my bag? Video tag. What's in my bag tag? Hey, I'm just gonna be using the NYX Jumbo Eye. No, we're not. Okay.